What's up guys, War here. Welcome back to the channel. We have today another Season 28 build guide for you and we're doing the Barbarian Wrath of the Waste set or the Whirlwind Bar build uh, for Season 28. Now, although that the the Horn of the or Horde of the 90 Savages is going to be her, your Hadred's Gift, which is still going to be pretty solid. I still think that Rock and the Wrath of the Waste set is going to be a really good farming build. So with the Wrath of the Waste set, I'm going to show you everything that you're going to need for the build and how to play it. So let's get right into it. So you're going to need the full six piece, all six pieces, no Ring of Royal Grandeur in this build with uh, the Wrath of the Waste set. The two piece bonus increases your damage per second of Ren by 500% and its duration to 15 seconds. The four pieces during Whirlwind and for three seconds after you gain 50% damage reduction and your applied Rens deal triple damage. This is huge because Whirlwind is going to apply all of our Ren damage and our Ren damage is just going to be through the roof. With the six set piece bonus, Whirlwind gains the effect of the Dust Devil's Rune and all Whirlwind and Ren damage is increased by 10,000%. So the build's absolutely crazy. It has been kind of like down in the dumps for the last couple seasons, but the build is still really, really good for GR90 farming, which we're going to showcase for you in T16 farming. So to pair with this, a couple items that you guys are going to need. One of them is the Lamentation Belt. You need this. Ren now stacks up to two times on an enemy and the damage is increased, which is huge. Then we paired this with the Mordex Brace to give Wrath of the Berserker every single rune. And then, of course, we went with Squirt's Necklace for double damage, as well as Focus and Restraint for even more damage. Okay, because as we're spinning around and then Ferocious Charging, we're going to be able to keep Focus and Restraint proc'd at all times. Now, I went with Ingium because in this build, we want to keep our cooldowns as much as possible because we're kind of elite hunting. So that way we can keep Wrath of the Berserker up 100%. So I also paired this with uh, Ambo's Pride. This is the main weapon that you're going to need. The build does not work without it. Okay, so you have to have this. Attacking with uh, Whirlwind also applies Rend. And the total damage of Rend is dealt over one second. So all we're going to be doing is spinning to winning here with Whirlwind. Ambo's Pride applies our big, huge rend damage, and then it just destroys everything in its path, okay? Our legendary gems are Taeguk for increased damage and armor stacks, and then Bane of the Trap for more damage. And this third one, guys, this is where you really have a lot of options. I'm going with Wreath of Lightning because I really like the speed effect. Yes, we are going to be spinning, but the movement speed doesn't really increase with Whirlwind. We don't get a big movement uh, speed increase, uh, except for 100% of our movement. How ironic is that? But with our movement speed being so low, I like to have it even more than that. So uh, we want to be really, really fast. So I like this. But if you don't want uh, Wreath of Lightning, it's so stupid. You could do uh, Gogok of Swiftness. Um, you could also do uh, Bane of the Powerful. You could do Bane of the... Um, you could also do... Uh, you can do Bane of the Stricken is also fine. You can do this because you're going to be hitting everything. You can also do Bane of the Powerful. Uh, if you want to keep your um, squirts up at all times, you could do uh, Molt Wild Beast Gizzard. But those are your options there, guys. I just like the Wreath of Lightning for more uh, movement speed. Okay, then we got, of course, uh, Emeralds in here and then Diamonds in everything for armor resistance and cooldown. Okay, into our cube. I have um, uh, the Messerschmitt's Reaver to reduce cooldown of all my skills when we slay an enemy. This is also how I keep up 100% cooldown on or uptime on Wrath of the Berserker. Then Mantle of Channeling, while we're spinning around, we deal increased damage and take less damage. And then, of course, Ban of the Might. So as we're ferocious charging all over the place, we get the damage reduction. Now, guys, if you do not want to rock Messerschmitt's Reaver, you do have some options here. Okay, you, there's a few things that you could put in if you don't want to rock this for cooldown. Um, you could do the Furnace, which is probably the next best thing for 50% increased damage against Elites. Uh, you could probably rock... Oh, let me go to page one. You could probably do Echoing Fury for even more movement speed and attack speed damage. So those are probably the two choices that I would pick. But I like the Reaver just so I can maintain permanent uptime. Okay. Uh, but both of those other options would be just fine. Into our skills and passives, Ferocious Charge, Merciless Assault. This is going to help us keep our Band of Might proc'd as well as help get us around the map even faster. Then we got Whirlwind Wind Shear because we already have Dust Devils on there. So we take Wind Shear so that way we can keep 100% Fury. Uh, sprint to increase our movement speed even more. Ignore Pain for damage reduction and uh, movement speed. 
Uh, and then Rend Bloodbath, where we're going to be doing all of our damage, which uh, has them bleed, and it bleeds out when they get killed. And then, of course, Wrath of the Berserker, but we have every rune. Into our passives, Boon of Bolkalthos for uh, cooldown, Ruthless for additional damage, uh, Pound of Flesh, so that way we get health globes, and then Rampage for increased uh, damage for strength. Now, with Ruthless, you could swap this out, guys. You have a lot of options here. Uh, you could do tough as nails if you really wanted to. Nerves of Steel is also good. Weapon Master is fine because we're rocking. Uh, you can get increased damage. Um, Berserker Rage is also very good to keep towards maximum. You could definitely swap that one of those two out. Brawler if you really want. So you have a lot of options here to kind of filter through just what, what you really like. It's totally up to you. Um, so that is the bill, guys. Let's go over and crack a gr90 with this and just showcase it now the build is really simple all we're gonna do is keep ignore pain up at all times for damage reduction same thing with wrath of the Zerker. you never have to actually cast red it just needs to be on your bar sprint to um always hit like large groups so you get the um the charge back and then you proc your brand of might sprint always hit it to maintain movement speed and then just whirlwind out of control let's get it we got a really crappy map, let me tell you. Really crappy map, that's okay. So in, in spaces like this, if you're able to hit multiple enemies and just close that gap, it's really good to make up that space. Just so you can get around the map as fast as possible. Now you're not gonna be trying to full on kill anything that you run through. Like if you, if you pass a group and you don't kill everything on your way through them, just leave them, don't worry about it. It's not gonna be a big deal. You basically just wanna move through, kill things as you can, and then get to the next elite pack. That's all you really wanna do. Cause you're gonna be killing enough enemies to keep everything up, which is great. So you shouldn't have to worry about that too much. As, as you guys can see, it deals a crap ton of damage. Nice channeling pylon. Keep everything procked up. The build's just easy. You just sit back, you chill, you hang out, you hit a couple buttons, and you just destroy everything. I'm not the biggest Barbarian fan, but this build is really, really cool. I mean, it, it, it decimates anything that you're going to spin through. So, it blows up everything. Absolutely destroys it. I think this is going to be such a good build for farming and doing all of your stuff because although like the 90 savages did get a buff like that 2000 buff instead of 1000 like it's nice but this is definitely going to be the better farming build it's going to be a lot faster it's going to be able to do a lot better damage you're not going to be able to um you know and even with single target damage like this build still wrecks with single target damage so, and, and like through my runs with this, even like without like crazy gear, you can still like sub two minute, sub two and a half minutes and just crush. So it's, you don't have to worry about like it being slow. And I believe I put this in my top five speed builds for season 28. Although I, th I would love to see how Hoda would do. Now against the Rift Guardian, easy man. It takes a little bit longer, but you still crush them. Yeah, two and a half minutes. No big deal. Just come through and absolutely decimate. You don't need that. Still leveling these gems up. So you guys can see the build is still very good. It's not going to be a top tier build. You're not going to be able to really push too high with Whirlwind. And you're not going to be able to, uh, yeah, it's up two and a half. And you're not going to be able to, like, get much faster in speeds until you start augmenting and stuff. But really... The build is super, super strong. Um, I guess with the Messerships Reaver, you could swap this out for the Furnace, so that way you kill those Elite Packs a little bit faster. Or the Rift Guardian, especially the Rift Guardian. But in the end, the build just absolutely wrecks, guys. And I don't think we have a single thing augmented either, which is nuts. So, But this build is going to be really, really good. So you get your Frenzy, your Ogduels, uh, your Hadred's Gift, and then you go in, you farm up this set, and then you use this set to farm everything else, especially like LOD Hoda, which I really, really like that build. Sucks the power is gone, but... That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe if you are new here. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys out there. Peace.